Hello guys, my name is Sanjay Puchala and today we are going to discuss about a fast Fourier transform in this uh, lab experiment, distance experiment processing. And coming to the first point, oh, what is Fourier fast Fourier transform? A fast Fourier, uh, fast Fourier transform is an algorithm that computes the discrete uh, Fourier transform of a sequence or its inverse. The Fourier analysis con converts a signal from its original domain, often space or time, into the representation of the frequency domain and the vice versa. Generally, what we are doing is, I mean, for any calculation of the uh, transform, what we will do is we are using DFT. But using the DFT, the speed is decreased. So what we are doing is we are, uh, we are deriving some, some other transform such that we can get the computational complexity low, such that we have created the password transform. In this, uh, generally, whenever taking the n, n is a sample, so whenever the complexity is reduce it from n square to n log to log power log of n such that here the formula of the password transform is g of k plus h of k and x of k is the total of the uh, password transform and g of k is the fft of the even components and h of k is the odd components uh, in general uh, there are two types of the fft uh, which is dismutation in time for password transform and dismutation in frequency what we are doing is we are using dismutation in the time FFT. Uh, so now coming into the code, uh, what we are doing is we are extracting the pulse rate from the PPG signal using FFT. Generally, when using uh, this code is in the Arduino Arduino part. Whenever you're using Arduino, we have to download a package called Arduino FFT such that we can get the directly FFT using from the Arduino. Here, what we are I'm deriving some and we are creating it to matrices VDL and such that this is all code you have to uh, please check in uh, if you want to check plus then this is the plot of the fft such that the peak higher peaks are the ppg and lower lower ones are the respiratory ones what we are getting is when uh, whenever what we i mean if you want anything we, we can use a moving areas filter such that we can get the high frequencies whenever the noise is high and some high pass and low pass to get the respiration or ppg, PPG. Hmm. And now coming to the what uh, next part is what is uh, dispersion rate. Uh, what we are doing is uh, the raw PPG data contains dispersion information too. While the PPG frequency is lies between 0 0.5 to 5 Hz, dispersion lies in 0 0.05 to 0 0.5. As the PPG can be used to zero out the non non respiratory parts. So we are using the what uh, band pass band pass filter so that we can get. Now what we are doing is we are using a MATLAB code for extracting. Is that uh, the when uh, we can't do IFT, IFT in the process of uh, Arduino board, so we are creating MATLAB boards to uh, inverse for, uh, fast Fourier transform so that so that we can get the code. Here are the plots. We, what we are doing is uh, first we are giving an input signal, then then it is passed to the FFT such that we can get the uh, what uh, we can get uh, pulse pulse rate pulse rate. Hmm. After that, we are, what we are, we are again converting the uh, inverse function so that we get the respiratory signal. That's what we are doing. And the uh, beat six, what we are getting is respiration rate as a uh, from, uh, sorry from be before this uh, from this in this plot we are getting what we are, we are getting 16 beats per minute as a respiration rate. And this after that we are getting uh, from the oh, this this part is the art, uh, extraction and the verification part where we are getting Arduino code such so that uh, what we are dealing with generally uh, the before one uh, from the before one we are just adding the bandwidth filter such that we can get the final output as the respiration rate we got 17.5 beats per minute but uh, in general from using the MATLAB what we are getting is 16 beats. And now coming to the sorry for this this is the moving average filter of the input signal so after just after sorry for the picture and this is the restoration part thank you for listening to this video hope you have a nice day please subscribe to this channel to get more information about this one